going on? GS98, and today we're going to be unboxing the Transformers Dark of the Moon for the Xbox 360. Very anticipated release, only not so much. <laughs> uh, before I do the unboxing, I want to make a quick rant. Today is, uh, what the hell is today? July 12th? Yeah, I think. It's supposed to be the release of L.A. Noir's uh, second DLC, Reefer Madness, I believe it's called. But, if you're one of the guys that got it on PlayStation 3, like me, you're not able to get the, game, the uh, new DLC because Sony is unprofessional and stupid. Well, I got up again at 7 o'clock, checked it, they didn't have it, because they're always late on their DLCs. Same thing with Nich Nicholson Electroplating. I, I got up at 7 to play the DLC, and then I ended up not playing it till the next day because I was very busy that day, so that's a problem. And it is now 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and they still don't have it. What the hell, Sony? It's like, come on. Xbox 360 gets it at 12 o'clock, midnight, which is when you should get it, but you don't have it? I'm like, what the hell? That, that's, it's stupid. It's so dumb. It, it just pisses me off, and it's like... You get, you give us good add-on content. Batman Arkham Asylum. I'm not talking about Arkham Asylum. Arkham, I'm sorry, not talking about Arkham City. Ar Arkham Asylum had that Joker thing where you could play as the Joker. But guess what? The day that uh, that game came out, they were undergoing maintenance. What the hell? Seriously. It's stupid. So you can't even play your content. You give us good content. You gave us the console's car on, um... If you got L.A. Noir for the uh, PlayStation 3, that, in my opinion, is one of the best add-on or b best cases in the game. And I got it because of that reason, and because I didn't have to change the disc 500,000 times during my playthrough. But it's stupid to me. And I hope they get the DLC today. I'm gonna play Dark of the Moon. I wanted to play the DLC first, but we're gonna play a, uh, from what I've heard, a very crappy tie in with a movie. So let's get to the unboxing. Transformers Dark of the Moon, there's Optimus Prime, Bumblebee back there, Hasbro, and Activision, let's not even look at that crap. Yeah, blah blah blah. These are the same makers who did uh, War for Cybertron, which I heard was pretty good. There's your disc, oh and there is War for Cybertron right there. Cybertron, sorry. And, uh, the action figures. I don't want them. Uh, I mean, the, the, the Transformers figures. You know I collect figures. There's my big daddy right there. I, I'm a big collector of hot toys and all that. Um, I love action figures. One of my hobbies, along with gaming. But, I like the Transformers figures. I have a couple of them from, I believe, the first one in Revenge of the Fallen. Why are they so damn hard? to change into robot form, and then you can't change them back into vehicle form. I'm like, what the hell? That's why I stopped collecting them. I don't know. Maybe I need to get one of those pros that know how to transform them, like Sean Long or something. All right. Here's your instruction booklet, black and white. Very quick, very crappy. And crappy. It's only like five pages. So that's the unboxing of... What the heck is this game called? Transformers Dark of the Moon. Uh, I did not see the movie. I heard okay things about it. I heard it was... Some people said it was okay. Some people said it was complete garbage. I don't know. I'll probably wait for it to come out on DVD. So let's watch it. Or let's see how this game is.